everyone in the bar are you ready to witness history? I'm about to mix this bottle of stuff with this drink I found and drink it all. Watch, watch, watch. Good morning, Matt. Shh. Oh, by the way, do you know what Joe's up to? <laughs> no, but I have a pretty good guess. Hey, hey, Joe. So, I'm pretty sure it's your turn to order breakfast. So, want to do that? Like, now? Gerald, don't interrupt my workouts. I'm hungry. So yeah, there'll be two breakfast pizzas. What? Yeah, with fries. Huh? Hold on a sec. Will you guys turn that crap off? Alright, so... Come on, man. Let me in. Man, come on. There's something out here. So, what the hell are you doing in my house? You wouldn't believe it, man. I was in the bar. Oh, what God! The? No! Ah! Okay, what the hell is going on? Oh, God! What do we do? Avoid the windows, clearly. Well, at the risk of sounding obvious, you can't go outside. Unless you want to end up like that guy. Actually, we might have better odds if we leave. What? Are you freaking crazy? Did you see that? Matt might be right. We're not exactly in a bunker. Yeah, but I'm not sure leaving is an option either. We need weapons. I have weapons. Holy crap. Dibs on the AK. Seriously, why do you have all this? Joe, when you've watched as many episodes of Zombie Hunters as I have, you learn to take precautions. You're messed up, says the guy not holding a gun. Is that the door? Sounds like the zombies found a way in. I'll check it out. I'll be back in two shakes. Or you'll be dead in two shakes. Relax. How bad could it be? <laughs> It's pretty bad. You don't say. You guys hear me? This is Russ, your neighbor. Russ? Uh, who is this exactly? Take a look through your window. Listen, I'm not sure what the heck is going on, but I think we can help each other. I have, uh, plenty of food. And I can see you guys have guns. It's weird. Look good. If you make it over here, I think we have a better chance at survival. Give us a moment here. Matt, we've got to take this chance. We literally have no food. I agree. This baby should take care of our zombie infestation. I'll drop it off and teleport back. Why do you have a grenade in your pocket? Joe, don't question a good thing. Alright guys, party time. This is disgusting. Get out of my house! Let's just get this over with. Oh my god, oh my god! Do you hear music? Mo, you zombies! Like you got? 
coming in my city. Come on, now's our chance. Well, here we all are. This is my wife, Jennifer. Who's hungry? What the? Sound of gunfire? Looks like we're saved, boys. Uh, <laughs> Alright, fellas. We should be safe tonight. Sounds uh, pretty quiet out there. Get some rest, all right? Hey, Matt. What? How big do you think this thing is? I mean, do you think it's just this city? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I mean, they'll send someone else, right? You think? Probably. Yeah, I hope so. What? Matt! Wake up! Zombie senses. You got the wake up call? Yeah, where did they all come from? Who knows? Shh! Listen! Well, that was cool. Where are you going? It's time to hunt some zombies. Swag. Freaking zombies! Kevin, and I'm the Doc. Welcome to my laboratory. Your what? The man's laboratory. I know what I mean, Kevin. Can somebody tell me how I got here? Beats me. I just performed the operation. The operation? Yep, your sex change is complete. What? But there was no operation. Kevin, do you have to ruin everything fun? No. Anyway, I really don't know. You would have to ask the general. The general? Welcome, me boy, to the resistance. So this base is entirely underground. That's right. We're safe for now. As long as our search teams keep finding food. This is crazy. I, I can't believe you found us in this city. And thank goodness. You're really quite lucky, you know. When our team found you, one of your friends had already been bitten. What? What happened? Why don't you ask him yourself? Both your buddies are on guard duty now. Guarding what? Only the only fragile barrier between us and a world of the damned. Feasting on the flesh and souls of the poor. 
hopeless wanderers left to rot on the cold exterior of this godforsaken planet. Yeah, can I see my friends now? I'm telling you, man, you snore in your sleep. Not possible. I have trained my body to remain silent in every function. Every function, Joe. Hey, guys. Well, look who's finally awake. Good to see you too, man. And Joe, nice to see you as well. That will never be funny. So how have you been, guys? And how crazy is this place? Besides the fact that we're living underground and Joe's arm is a giant can opener, I'd say we're just swell. Incoming search team. Are there zombies nearby? Well, not in the immediate vicinity, but... Whatever. Sop losers. I see the baby is awake. Here we go again. Ah, uh, watch it, Tin Man. If it was up to me, we would have never have risked our butts to save your butts. Hey, come on, man. Ow, my freaking face! Ow. I don't know what I'm worried about. If zombies invade, you'll definitely be the first to go. <laughs> he is such a douchebag. Yeah, he just thinks he's hot stuff because he's dating the second in command. Who's she? Oh, you haven't met Jenny? Well, you'll see her at the meeting tonight. The meeting tonight? It's been another good week, gentlemen. No deaths, and we're doing well on supplies. Special thanks to our scout team for that. You know it, babe. Barf. She's cute. So here's what we know. When infected, the zombie virus begins by interrupting the neurotransmitters. This explains the unique clumsy zombie gait. Once the virus is firmly established, it destroys much of the brain, leaving the host functioning exclusively on the medulla oblongata. Basically, the virus turns a person into a brainless, drunk eating machine. Haha! <laughs> Somebody must have infected me with the virus. We will continue our research and keep you all informed. That is all. Good night, gentlemen. I think I'm gonna talk to her. That's a terrible idea. You were a terrible idea. What? Nothing. Doctor's Log 29. I am about to conduct an experiment testing the properties of the virus. After analyzing the molecular structure of it, I have created a vaccine that I believe may reverse the effects. Hey, that was a nice presentation. I have a boyfriend. I know. I... <laughs> oh, sorry, you have no idea how many guys hit on you when you're the only girl stuck underground with them. I bet. <laughs> so, do you think you're close to finding a cure? I wish. There's so much we don't understand about the virus. Well, like what? Well, the virus contains an enormous amount of genetic data, and only a fraction of it is being used. It's like the rest simply hasn't been unlocked for some reason. That's all we know. Anyway, the doc is going to perform another experiment tonight and needs my help. See you tomorrow. Oh, dear. Run. You need to follow me now. What? Why? It's the experiment. There's been some kind of mutation. Well, that's about as cliche as it gets. Come on! open the main door. Gerald, you come with me. You two stay there and draw zombies away from us. So much for no deaths this week. Whatever. Just stay alive for a solid ten minutes and I'll be happy. Figures. Keith! 
Jenny! Let's go! Let's go, 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 let's
It's one of Smite's secret bases, but I was there before the virus broke out. If we secure a helicopter, we can reach the island. Now you know the truth. Can I count on each of you to help me stop Smite once and for all? I guess. Yes, Let's go hunt some zombies. And Smite. Uh, boys? It appears we have reached some kind of active man-made shelter. Damn it, Kevin, we were having a moment. Should we check it out? And risk getting eaten in the woods? I think I'll stay in the death wagon, thanks. Gerald and Joe, come with me. If there's a survivor in there, we could use their help. Uh, I didn't volunteer to go out. And I didn't ask for volunteers, did I? Screw this apocalypse. Bummer. We could have used another member. More of a bummer for him than us, I'd say. Cause he's dead. Shut up and help me search the room. Uh, guys. What? I think there's something, uh, going on out there. Something going on. Thanks, Russ. That's really specific. I'm just saying. We should turn on the lights for a second or something. Just to make sure the guys are okay. I can turn on the lights. Glad you're making yourself useful for once, Kevin. Why are they honking? Oh, jeez! That's why. That's not good. We're surrounded. Grab a turn, man. Now that I can do. need to make a break for it. All this noise is just going to attract more zombies. Oh god. Count of three? Way to make yourself useful for once, Kevin. Oh, God! Oh, God. Yeah. Ugh. Stop taking my limbs! Get us out of here. It really is such a shame what happened to Joe. I agree. He was so young. I just can't believe those little green legs of his will never walk another step. It's a damn shame is what it is. Well, this military base isn't going to search itself. Joe! Don't zombies! Uh, what? Uh, what's up? Well, you've been unconscious for about a week now, so quite a bit. Yeah, man. After the zombies tore you in half, Kevin got right to work on fixing you. Torn in half? Oh my god, I got my legs back? Well, not quite. Yeah, that's pretty freaking sweet. What happens now? What happens now? We get a ride out of here. We've reached the base. Assuming the password hasn't been changed, I should be able to access the building mainframe and open the gate. By the way, you should know this base was the site of a heavy experimentation with the virus that may or may not affect our retrieval. Slade!
was definitely not on the list of things I expected to happen. We need Slade to get out of here alive. He's like a zombie slaying machine. I calculate our odds of survival are higher if we stick together. Shut up, Kevin. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Let's split up. I told going with Matt. Nice. Whatever. Gerald, you come with me. If things go south, return to this spot ASAP and move fast. Who knows how much time Slade has. Well, the sensor on this door seems to be broken. Guess we'd better head back. Oh, what the hell? I'm pretty sure it was like that before I kicked the door open. Yeah, that's what worries me. So, you're single now. Oh my god, you did not just ask that. Yeah, I'm just not gonna say anything else now. Uh, whatever. Keith was a jerk. Uh, I don't really know why I dated him. Yeah, he was actually pretty mean. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? What? But I, I didn't... What did I... I think I see where Slade is. Are you a fast runner? I don't like where this is going. So, Kevin, what, uh, did you do before the zombie apocalypse? I have many programs, but I've served as a medical robot for the last 2,703 days. Oh, any cool abilities? Can you fly? I cannot fly. I only fly in my dreams. Sweet zombie Jesus! Do you sorry. hear something? I said I'm sorry. I've said it so many times. Neighbor! <coughs> <laughs> and who are you? I'm Kevin. He's Kevin. And I'm Russ. We're trying to find our friend. Your friend? Well, he might be in here. Uh, what you got back there? My friends! All my friends are here! <laughs> uh... I tried to help them, but they were all just so angry and hungry. I had to put them away. You understand that, right? Yep. Affirmative. Yep. Mm -hmm. Totally see your point, man. I'm sorry, friends. Please don't be mad. I don't know what I was thinking. You must be so cramped in there. I feel like we should go. Oh. Ah! Please stop doing that, sir. I hope you weren't going to leave yet. Here, let's see if your friend is with us. <laughs> what is that?
kind of helicopter is this? Next stop. Eden. We've reached Eden. It's huge! I'm going to land in the jungle to stay under Smite's radar. Hang on. There should be a weapons compartment in the back. Well, hot dog! So what do they shoot? Your enemies, hopefully. Oh my god, Kevin, that's not what he meant. The guns shoot extremely concentrated gamma waves. Pretty well fries anything it hits. Nice. Alright, Slade. What's the plan? Well, now we have to make it to Eden. By my calculations, it's an hour's hike in that direction. An hour? Are we almost there? My feet are killing me! Well, you know what's not killing you? Zombies, Gerald. So shut up. Why are you so mean? What? Hey! Holy crap, don't shoot! What the hell? D don't shoot, I'm human! We can see that, ma'am. What's with sneaking up on us, then? I thought you might be aliens. I just escaped Eden, and I thought they might have sent someone to find me. Wait, wait. Escaped? And by aliens, I assume you mean zombies, right? Wait, you really don't know? No, what? Hmm, it might be best if I show you. That's messed up. They told us this would be paradise. We paid almost all we could to be promised a place in Eden. But a day after we arrived, these things arrived in dozens of ships and forced us to work for them. How many aliens are there? Less than there are humans, but we're unarmed. All right, here's what's going to happen. We're going to set up a secret camp, and over the next few weeks, hey, we'll- you there! They've escaped! Oh, dang. So these are the rebels stirring up trouble in Eden. Pathetic. In our defense, this was not what we were expecting. Yeah, what the hell is this place? And where did you put my arm? You are aboard Zula 7, the Exxon command ship assigned to enslave the remaining population of planet Earth. So you're Smite. You created the virus? Wrong on both accounts, human. Smite is a petty human organization that volunteered to distribute Krozox after we told them we were gods. It made weakening the population for enslavement an easy task. Krozox? Is that what you call the virus? That is correct, human. However, wait. What is 
this? A human who has joined the hive mind. How quaint. What? What's going on? Surely you've begun to hear the voices. If not, they'll come soon enough. I don't know what kept you from being fully transformed. Perhaps you were removed from your cocoon too soon. Get out of my head! Ha! <laughs> How amusing. What? What, what was what was that? Take them to the prison hold, and keep a special eye on the one in the metal suit. Hey! Watch the socket! Wait. Robot, what is your purpose? Um, my only purpose is to act as a medical unit. And you do not care what happens to your friends? I am a robot. I have no friends. Only circuits. Good. Put the robot to work in the medical bay. Well, this day just keeps getting better and better. I suppose you want an explanation. You think? Your freaking eyes turn orange. Then you and the alien commander have a staring contest. What is going on? I don't know much more than you. I think it began when I was cocooned by the creature in the military base. But instead of undergoing a complete mutation, I've just been connected in some way to some kind of hive mind. So are you or are you not infected with the zombie virus? Yes, I believe I am. But I'm not dead, and I'm still in control of my actions. I just feel... strange. I just hope it doesn't take control of you. Yeah, especially considering Slade could easily murder all of us. Ugh, I should have stayed in Eden. Also, has anybody noticed how the aliens didn't make Slade change into prison clothes? Believe me, they tried. Hello everyone, it's me, Kevin. Don't eat the food. What do you want, traitor? And we haven't gotten any food yet. Oh, good. I'm here to rescue you. I was just acting in front of the alien commander. While I was in the medical bay, I discovered a storeroom of pathogens and viruses that I presume were kept to be used for biological warfare. I took a little of each one and put it in the alien's food supply. They should all be getting sick, which will give us a chance to escape. Yeah! I knew you wouldn't let us down, Kevin. Great work, Kevin. Oh, all of a sudden, everyone loves Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, if you were a human, I would kiss you right now. I don't know what's wrong with kissing a robot. Wait. Was one of the viruses labeled Crozox? I did not check that. Oh sh! Do the escape pod. I should have stayed in Eden. Looks like Kevin's plan's actually working out pretty well for once. Well, looks like it's working a little too well. We better get out of here!
was weird. Where exactly is this going to take us? I have a few destination points I can set on autopilot. One of them is labeled Crozox. Go there. What? If we want any answers on this virus or how to stop it, that sounds like our best bet. In any case, there's not much we can do back on Earth. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Hold on to a wall or something. What? Slade, you okay? You look like you're having a nightmare, man. I'm fine. What happened? Where are we? We crashed into our destination. Apparently, escape pods don't have great landing gear. How much do you remember? As soon as we came close to the planet, your eyes went all orange again, and you started freaking out. There are seconds to impact! So, we're on planet Crozox. Correct. It appears to be a tiny desert planet. We haven't seen any signs of life, much less the Exen species that captured us. Well, once again it seems we're screwed. How can we possibly figure out where to go from here? I know where to go. Neighbor, uh, you kind of remind me of my wife. Uh, thanks. Uh, Slade, you know we don't have any weapons, right? Anything can be a weapon if you know how to use it. Good arm, I'm gonna kill you, Slade. Get in, and grab a weapon. Hmm, can you read any of this? There might be clues to stopping the virus. Well, I don't know about you, Russ, but my college didn't offer any language courses in X. We're close. To what, the virus? It's not a virus. It's a fungus. A giant fungus that infects other species through spores. 
spores that the Exit have been distributing. How can you possibly know that? The hive mind is here, beneath us. The line between the hive mind and my own mind is beginning to blur. I can feel it trying to control me. <coughs> ah. uh, we don't have much time. We have to destroy the brain. Will that shut down the zombies and mutations? N no, but it will destroy any connection to the hive mind. From what I understand, the fungus inhabits dead bodies and reanimates them, growing inside them until they mutate into a kind of monster like we saw at the military base. So basically, Earth is screwed. Except for Eden. I should have stayed on Eden. But killing the hive brain might disrupt the aliens. If they have some kind of evolutionary symbiotic relationship with the fungus, killing the hive mind might cause some kind of reset. I don't know what will happen, but I know we have nothing to lose and no time to waste. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Whatever happens, I'm glad we made it this far. Jenny, I... If we get through this, I'll consider it. My friends, let's end this. coast appears to be clear. You know, this isn't as bad as what I was expecting. <laughs> Gerald, pull yourself together. If we don't succeed, Matt's death will have been in vain. You mean, that wasn't the brain? Russ, Joe, stay behind. If anything starts coming down that hallway, you have to stop it. Yes, sir. You're, uh, not gonna complain? Yeah, that kinda threw me off for a second. Now is not the time! Go! Oh, no. It's a trap! No, it's a trick. It knows we're close. God. 
Look, man, whatever happens, I'm glad I met you guys when this all started. Me too, man. We've had a good run. Yeah, we have. Well, if I'm going down, I'm going down fighting! <clears throat> All right. Did you miss me? Shit, yeah, we did. That is the brain. Okay, how do we destroy it? How about the old fashioned way? Slay. No, you don't. Uh, uh, oh my god! I, I can't fight it much longer. Run! Slade! Gerald, we have to go. The General? How did you get here? It's a long story for another time. We're Slade. It's a long story for another time. We need to go now. <laughs> Ending this. Is it, uh, is it over? You might say that. But for us, it's only just the beginning. What do you mean that it's only just beginning? Didn't we win? Oh, sure, we won. But at what cost? Earth is ruined, and the human population is decimated. I mean, but what can we do? The damage is done. That's right, Ross. The damage is done. But imagine if it could be undone. I don't follow. Kevin, roll the tape of Project X. Wait, he's a projector too? This is President Owens reporting the official video documentation of the Confidential Project X. The purpose of this project and this documentation is to serve as a last resort, and only as a last resort, in the event of global catastrophe. That's the President! Shh. Experiment Log 137. Various attempts at sending inanimate objects hours into the past have been successful. However, sending objects further into the past seems to displace them farther from their starting point. Hold on! You're talking about frickin' time travel? Fourth dimensional navigation, if you will. Why was I never told about this? Frankly, dear, it's above your pay grade. Until now, paid positions don't really exist anymore. So, what do you want us to do? It's not about what I want, boy. It's about what the president wants. Now get in the ship. Gerald, are you okay? 
Oh, I guess this apocalypse is harder on me than I thought. Hey, where is everyone? Waiting for you. We're being debriefed. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> hey, hey everybody. Please take a seat. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the current situation. With the exception of Eden, our underground facility is the last standing human community in the nation. We are housing 20 government families and are low on weapons and food. Navigating the surface has become nearly impossible as it is overrun with mutations. Overbeck? Thank you, Mrs. President. While the initial stages of the zombie transformation seem to simply kill the host and overtake the brain, we have discovered that the host is actually inhabited by a highly developed fungus that eventually reaches a period of rapid growth, leading to the development of various fruiting bodies, fungi that can reproduce sexually through gametes. <laughs> sexually. These fruiting bodies take many forms, but all seems to be capable of enveloping human hosts in cocoons that kill and inhabit them. While violence against the alien race known as Exxon has been observed, it has usually been immediately following a transformation. After an hour or so, the fruiting bodies exhibit no violence towards Exxon at all. I imagine this has something to do with a telepathic communication in the hive mind the general has informed us about. Furthermore, the destruction of this hive mind seems to have left the Exxon in a state of primal animal behavior, suggesting that any intelligence the aliens had was directly connected to that hive mind. In conclusion, the being which has recently been identified as Crozox appears to be an ancient, highly evolved fungus that evolved alongside the Exxon and developed a symbiotic relationship with them. This fungus now exists independently in abundance on the surface with no direction from the hive mind. It is spreading, and stopping the fungus seems impossible. <whistles> Mrs. President? Thank you, Overbeck. General, have you informed your crew of their mission? I started, but now I'll finish. As the President said, resources are low. The few soldiers left in this facility are required to stay to defend the families in case of emergency. Those who are willing will use the machine to travel one year into the past, where Kevin will use the data he has acquired to brief the President and myself on the situation. We will then mobilize to stop Smite, the Exxon, and Crozox before they can make a move. So, who's willing? I'm in. Uh, oh, okay. Uh... Russ? Oh, sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to sit this one out. When all this craziness happened, I left my wife somewhere I thought she'd be safe. I'd like to go look for her if that's alright. Of course. We'll provide you with an armored vehicle. Good luck, sir. And to the rest of you, come with me. Remember, if you fail, humanity is lost. No pressure, huh? Godspeed, everyone. Overbeck, prepare to send them one year to the past. You guys should feel lucky. You're making history as the first ever humans to travel through time. Yay! Overbeck, send them back, now! Sent them too far. God save us all.